Hello guys, I promised you some time a uh, video on setting up the digital modes on the radio. So, uh, first a uh, quick comment about uh, RTTY mode, um, answering the question from one of the comments under the video. Uh, if the signal that you are tuned into goes out, the built-in decoder decodes garbage. It doesn't have any squelch or, well, I didn't find a way to electronically set a threshold where it decodes where it doesn't, so I guess you will be down to AF squelch, RF squelch, so figure it out uh, this way. Uh, for the digital modes with 7300, the configuration, the connection is that easy, it couldn't be any easier, no more strange interfaces, everything comes in to the computer through this. This is the USB cable type of the connector that goes into the radio, the older one, uh, the cable is not supplied with the radio, so make sure you get one separately. You plug this one into the radio, the other end into a computer, and I'm using here Windows 7 in my shack uh, still. Uh, in a completely frozen configuration, uh, I'm testing with Windows 10 at the moment. I didn't make a switch just yet. Uh, I guess that will be in the next month or two. Um, what happens is I had um, Windows updates for drivers disabled, so that meant if I connect the new device and the driver is not found, it will not be installed from the Windows repositories. I plugged in the radio, it came up as a composite device, which sounds like a image scanner, which I guess is because, in theory, the manual mentions something about taking a screenshot. Um, I would say they, they would be saved to a SD card, but hey, who knows. Um, it comes as the serial port, USB to serial port, that's basically for the commands for driving the radio. And it comes as a USB sound card, which will be used, obviously, for the data modes. And that's where the whole whole trick uh, is. I didn't have um, the serial port driver uh, was not found on the system. It wasn't automatically installed. I downloaded manually one from the manufacturer website, uh, just Googled the model number, and there are drivers. The problem is they were blue screening my machine on a regular basis, and that was completely unusable. I removed the drivers uh, from the manufacturer, enabled updates from Microsoft, the driver got installed right away and everything works beautifully. So make sure you have the Windows drivers, it's just no-brainer, you just plug it in and it works, plug and play, really. So there we are, um, radio is connected and now setting. A few caveats, I spent a few days uh, scratching my head, not everything is explained in the, in the manual, but let me show you first. So. Uh, if we go to, uh, I'm using currently here on a computer, I have uh, a commander running on ICOM 7300. Uh, it's currently in SSB mode and that's WinRabro, uh, or basically, uh, yeah, that's the application for uh, the digital mode. Let's go 20 meters PSK. We can, well, we can hear it's, there are signals. Um, I'm just trying to see if there is something here. Not really, okay. Never mind. The radio jumped to the frequency. Oh, and it jumped to RTTY. We want it in a PSK mode, so let me just put it into the USB and 20, 20 meter PSK. So that is, yeah. There are signals right here I can see on the screen. There is something in here. They are pretty weak right now this time of the day. Okay, there is something nice and strong coming in here. There is another one coming in here, and as you can see, yes, they are decoding. But one thing that worries me is this, receive sound card overload. Um, so if we have an oversteer on the, on the interface itself, there is another strong signal coming down there. Or well, basically an interference, where is the mouse? Let's okay, let's see, what's this one? Yeah, okay. So. This oversteer, how do we get rid of that? So on the radio, we have to make a few changes from the default configuration. On the radio, we go to set, we go to connections right here on the first screen. And there is four screens of settings. So AF output level, this is basically on ACC port or USB port. This is output level. If there is an oversteer, we lower it down. And in my experience, it takes, so if we, yeah, let's, let's say we are somewhere here and we can see it's still basically it's overload so let me just knock it down a bit that's about 33 percent it's gone no more overload so lower it down 
just a notch to make sure you get a clear signal on the input. Yep, that's it. Now, the stuff that got me. As you well, you can also send the a AF or IF back to the computer. We stay with AF. Um, squelch turned off everything. Um, output level for IF, ACC modulation level, and USB modulation level. Now, this is pretty much self-explanatory, right? We'll get back to one of those shortly. Data off mode means which inputs are working, which uh, inputs the radio is using for signal when uh, the data mode, which we enable through USB oh come on, USB and the data button right here, when we enable data it goes to data mode, when we disable data it's using those inputs, so let's go again to set connectors and USB output select is IF AF, sorry, yes. Data off mode, microphone, ACC port. ACC port is a separate to USB, remember that. If you are not familiar with ICOM terminology, that can get a bit tricky to get your head around it first. I came from the ESU world, nothing like, the, like it there, especially on the model I had. So there we are. But there is also a data mode, and data mode, by default, in a default configuration of the European model I received, is set to ACC. And obviously, that is a problem, because sorry for the for losing the focus uh, what happens is if you try to yes my camera is not the best today doesn't like me okay if we go back to the main main set main screen right and we start transmitting in audio view here you should see a full saturation pretty much on digital modes that's not what I got and I was struggling actually to get anything out I did get stuff out I'm not sure exactly how, but it did went out. There is some like kind of leakage, uh, but that was too little to actually be of any use whatsoever. I spent some time scratching my head, and then I realized that basically go through all of the menus, data mod, and the source set to USB. And at this point, everything starts working. Um, obviously, as with any other sound input, USB sound card is also needs uh, modulation level adjusted so basically ALC readout is what it should be um, there are different opinions on ALC um, the manual that comes with the radio at one place where, where it describes how to set the microphone compression it says that the desired ALC should be between 30 and 50 percent uh, some people say it should be about 75 percent I am sticking with basically with uh, what the manual says for the moment and you can actually find those levels if you go to meters and start transmitting you will see ALC going up and down uh, so I found that just by experiment that the ALC level I need for me is about 37 uh, sorry about 30, USB modulation needs to go down to 37 38 percent to actually give me the readout I would like so this is it so what we changed from the defaults AF output level, so the signal going to a computer is not garbled, and uh, modulation for the USB input, lower down, basically adjust to your ALC uh, as it works with your machine, and data mode to USB. Now, if we switch the radio to the data mode right here, it will start taking source uh, the signal, the audio signal from the USB sound card. So. This is, as you can see, when I switch to the USB, much clearer, clearer signal as it stands right now. But let's close, let's close those two applications for the moment. I want to show you how you can tell when they work. So for that reason, I will start another one that I use for the data modes. It's uh, not driven by this one currently. Um, and let's go to so what power we've got, 10 watts, microphone gain. So in the data mode, USB D, if you look also, if you look in functions, compressor is off, so there's no way to use it, and that's what it should be actually, you don't want the compressor. So let's go on, uh, yeah, in about 30 seconds we'll go on TX uh, on JT65. Uh, let me just make sure that we are on the right frequency, so click, we are, you can hear JT65 signals actually coming through. Yeah, that is okay, and yeah, the, the signals will disappear shortly, and we'll start transmitting. So, we are set on CQ for a test, 
we go scope, we'll start transmitting somewhere here. Yep, that's our signal. In audio, you will see this part completely covered. This is our signal. If you don't get that, you are not transmitting, right? In meters, you will see ALC very, very low at the moment, so we can possibly bring it slightly up 37, 39. Yeah, it moved slightly, so small change. Just find a sweet spot what works for you. I could possibly do 40%, that would be perfectly fine. Um, yeah, let's go there. 40%. I would say that's acceptable, so let's work with that. My signal is here. That's the final preamble. Yep, the signal is gone. We are on the receive right now. And that's it. That's your data modes. Uh, looking from reverse beacon on uh, PSK Reporter, I get reports pretty much from all over the world. Uh, I'm quite surprised because I use really, really bad antenna. It's good for receive, not very good for transmit, but it does the job. And with, you know, like 5 watts, that's that's more than necessary. Um, I'm planning to actually start going lower and much lower, like one watt. I think the radio can handle from two watts upwards only. So I, I'm planning to go actually on the complete minimum the radio can handle and see what kind of reports I get there. Uh, but yeah, so far so good and on receive it's pretty much amazing. I just seen um, on JT65 uh, Japan uh, on the east and of, of course states uh, on uh, on actually the most western uh, part of the states, uh, the west coast, clearly on JT65, which is quite, quite nice to see. Right, so that's it for the digital modes and the USB uh, input, which actually got me lost. And yeah, there was a bit of a head scratching, but that's okay. Live and learn, right? So if you have any comments, any questions, uh, feel free to ask. I'll do my best. I'm, I'm far from expert. I'm just sharing my experiences. Uh, I love the radio, I just wish that the manual was a bit more explicit or possibly there was a full manual uh, available somewhere, which I didn't find yet. Um, maybe it's actually on the CD provided. Uh, I'll need to find a USB drive, or sorry, USB DVD drive to actually be able to use it in the first place. But I can't find any advanced manual or anything like that, so that is a bit of a problem. I would like to see uh, the proper description of all of the menus, which is missing in the basic manual. But hey. It's not a showstopper, the radio is great, it's very, very good on the receive. Um, yeah, I love it. So, possibly the best money spent recently. <laughs> so, that's 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 pretty much it. That's my very personal opinion, and let's agree to disagree if you have any other opinions. Yeah, that's it. Um, I hope you find it useful. Anything, any questions, feel free to ask. I may not have the, the right answers, but I'll do my best to, to share my experiences, what worked for me. That's the only thing I can promise. Take care, take care, guys, and uh, hope to see you soon. Bye.